It's Miss Julianne from the Wakanda Area Library and I am here with our February STEM Club. We are going to learn about optical illusions, specifically a thaumatrope. You're going to make your very own. So an optical illusion is something that uses lines, patterns, sometimes different colors. Um, to kind of trick your eye, which also tricks your mind. So it will make you think you're seeing something that you're not. So that's what an optical illusion is. If you've ever had to do like squint your eyes to see one of those 3D puzzles, that's considered an optical illusion. Um, I'm gonna show you some examples right now. So the first optical illusion is a pretty famous one. And I wanna find out what animal do you see? So this is drawn in a very specific way that people usually see one of two animals. But the trick is that both animals are drawn there. It's just drawn in a way that you usually only see one. And it's probably a rabbit or a duck that you see, but really no one's wrong because it's drawn so both can be seen that way. And the next one I'm gonna show you uses a pattern and colors to trick your eye. Now, does it look like that's moving? Every time I watch this one, it looks to me like it's moving and I don't know how it's doing it because it's just one still image, but it's not moving. But it's the way our eyes follow the pattern and with that specific color makes it look like it's moving. Isn't that crazy? And then the third one I have for you is a different type of optical illusion and it's using perspective. So someone changed the perspective of a flat drawing on the road to make these Legos look 3D. Isn't that crazy? Like to me, they look like they are standing up, but they're not. They were drawn on a flat surface of that road and that's using perspective. So today we're gonna learn about thaumatropes which was a really popular toy way back when, you know, when they didn't have computers or games. And what this does is a thaumatrope uses the optical illusion of persistence of eyes, of our eyes. So persistence might be a word you might not have heard before, might be a word you've heard before. So it just means, usually if we use it for a person, oh, they're so persistent, is they keep on going. So it's kind of the same idea with your eye. So in your eye, you have something called your retina. And that actually holds on to what you see for a half second. Now, it's such a short time span that normally it doesn't affect us at all. We don't see the lag in time. Because like I said, it's half a second. It's pretty, pretty short. But if you move something really fast, where you would just have one image, but you're moving something fast, it'll start combining the two images using that persistence of image in your retina and you'll start seeing the images together. So I'm doing mine Valentine's themed. You can do yours Valentine's themed or you know what? If you just wanna make a cool doodle, a really famous one of the thaumatropes is a bird in a cage. Another famous one is like a goldfish and then a tank. So a goldfish is on one side and the tank is on the other. So these are all things that you can do, but that's what a thaumatrope is. And I want you to make your own and see if maybe you can make other um, optical illusions or try other optical illusions to find out what other tricks you can play with your eye and your mind. So I'm gonna now show you how to make your own, very own thaumatrope. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make your thaumatrope. So you should have gotten two white circles. And if I were you, um, I would first do my design in pencil, make sure I know what I want and then color it in. So you wanna do an image on each circle. So you don't wanna do the double side of the circle, just one image on each side of the circle. So for me, I have a penguin, he's kinda of dancing, and then I have hearts, cause I wanted mine to be Valentine's themed. So I went ahead and I colored these. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some tape and you're gonna have a straw I happen to have just a pencil. So if you find you're having trouble with your straw, you can use a pencil that you have at home. It might be a little bit sturdier. Um, so you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna take your pencil and then you just, or again, me use pencil, yours is a straw. You're just gonna go ahead and line it up in that back part. And then you're gonna take tape and just tape it over. And you wanna make sure the two sides are pretty secure
like that. And then you're going to take your other side and then put double tape on it. And then you just want them to match up like so. So you want to make sure that they line up so they're even and squish that tape. There you go. And then once you do that, you're just gonna rub your straw back and forth with your hands till you see the images um, go back and forth. <laughs> till you see the images go back and forth and become one image. Now, um, my tape didn't work so well, so I'm gonna go ahead and retape it and show you again. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've retaped it, and now we're gonna see what happens. Oh, look, I've got my penguin with hearts. It's waving hearts at you. It's saying, hey, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, see? And now you have your very own thermotrope. And like I said, you can recreate it at home. Maybe make your own circles. If you're having trouble using your straw, you can go ahead and grab a pencil and that should work. And I hope you have fun making your own optical illusions. And I hope to see you in the library soon. Bye. Bye.